Yeah, it is. I guess it's probably a drum. It's kind of pulling like one. No, it's a drum. I told you, every cast with the weighted one. A little bigger. at every cast. <laughs> Get him. Come my way, come my way. Oh! Not unless I got a picture. It's my last hour or so of fishing. I'm at Blind Pass in Sanibel. Uh, Lots of uh, black drum. Snook aren't busted on the top the way they were. Current's a little different. Um, I'm getting a drum on almost every cast, which I think I got one right now. If you watch the tip of my rod there, dancing a little bit right at the spot where I've been catching them, so we'll see. Oh, so sad. This is it. There we go. Yeah, I think so. No, big drum. Drum. gorgeous out here. I had one snook that was nice. Um, the sun is setting in Santa Bell and on 
It's in October 2016. They seem like they just came alive. Everybody's kind of catching them right now. I'm gonna stay for a little while longer, maybe catch one more snook. That'll be nice. Ooh, they're alive right here. Yeah. Trying to catch one more snook before I go. They're still hitting aggressively. Gonna see you in the water there. Got limited bait, so we'll see. There we go. Oh. All right, so this, I'll do a, another outro when I get to the hotel, because it's officially the end. Actually, when my girlfriend picks me up, it's officially the end. But uh, this is the end of fishing right now at Sanibel and the end of my trip. Uh, it's been long and exhausting and I mean, I guess I don't have to say it, if anyone who likes to fish and understands, I mean, it's exhilarating. It's been fantastic nonstop. I'm, uh, I'm happy that I work hard to be able to do this twice a year um, and sacrifice a lot in order to do this because it's one of my passions. So it was fantastic, a blind pass for the end. It's, all, it's gorgeous there. The snook were blowing up all over the place. Caught a lot of black drum. Caught one last final snook. Um, did get a picture of it though, because it shook right at the jetties. But it's kind of a catch. I kind of touched the leader, sort of. But it was nice to go out like that. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go get something to eat and uh, head to Orlando. After I clean the car, of course. Sorry, rental car company. So to sum up the trip, um, it, was, it was incredible. It, it sucked at first to be uh, solo. Um, and, it, and it's always more fun uh, when I'm with my dad or with Chloe. Uh, I like to share in my, with my, share my enthusiasm and my excitement for fishing with them because I know my dad shares it with me and Chloe seems to, I don't know, care enough about me that she really enjoys me enjoying it. And she did really well and had a lot of fun when she's gone too. Um, so it is more fun with someone else. But with that being said, I had a lot of fun on my own uh, because there's just something about fishing. Uh, they say that when you find the passions in your life, the things that you enjoy doing, that when you're doing them, you forget about eating and sleeping. Uh, and for me, that's writing and fishing. I can spend them hours, hours at a time doing them, and uh, I just lose track of time. It's like you're in this zone uh, within you. I think it has something to do with the soul, uh, but you, you get into that sort of place where your body doesn't really matter. And it's, uh, it's fascinating, it's a fascinating feeling and everyone who has that thing knows, especially people who, uh, who have that passion for fishing. Uh, so it's been a great trip, it really was incredible, especially snook fishing uh, in Sanibel was just outstanding. And I'll, uh, I'm gonna supplement a lot of the videos with some of the knowledge um, once I start breaking it down because I learned a lot about fishing on this trip. Maybe it was being by myself, I had more time to think. Maybe it was doing these vlogs, um, gave me a chance to sort of express what I was thinking at the time and when they were relevant, it kind of dawned on me some of the things. Watching snook behavior, I kind of figured some things out. 
um, uh, on top of what I already knew. So all in all, it was a great trip. I didn't get the giant snook that I was looking for. Uh, I got close a couple times with a big one, uh, and I got some nice size ones. I mean, some of the, my bigger snook were on this trip, so it was it was very cool. Um, so I'll, I'll get that trophy snook one day, mark my words. Uh, I got a nice size trout though, that was that was cool. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up uh, by showing you around the motel here and uh, showing you a little bit of Orlando. There we go. Anyway, we need to go on the balcony, do we? So here's uh, Orlando at the hotel, pretty cool. And it looks like my next trip is gonna be in May with my dad, that ought to be fun. It always is and uh, I'd like to go bass fishing uh, for some giant bass uh, if I can in the next uh, month or so but I doubt I'll have the time uh, there's a lot of videos that are gonna be coming out of this um, and I got a backlog of videos too including my giant trophy red uh, two reds but one video uh, and some other nice stuff so check it out and there's going to be a lot more to come. So until then, see you tomorrow.